I cleared the ISC2 certified in cybersecurity exam, and these were my key takeaways. How's it going guys and welcome to another video. As always, if you're new here, do subscribe to my channel, hit the like button on this video and also check my previous videos out. I recently took the ISC2 certified in cybersecurity and managed to clear it as well. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my experience with the exam, the registration process, the overall syllabus of the exam, the practice tests that I used to prepare for the exam and also the number of days that you would need if you want to clear this certification. Speaking about the registration process, this certification is absolutely free. Yes, you heard that right. And it's offered by ISC2 under their 1 million free registrations. So if you haven't registered for this exam yet, click on the link in the description, follow the process and register on ISC2's website. Once you do, you'll get a voucher and you can use this voucher when you're on the Pearson VUE ISC2 website and basically you can get this exam for free. Let's look at the syllabus that is covered in this exam. So you have a lot of topics such as security controls and this includes technical controls, physical controls, logical security controls. You have different access control models as well, like your role-based access model, mandatory access control, discretionary access control, etc. I'm not going to go into the details of what these are because this is just a high level overview of what the syllabus looks like. Now, other than this, you also have a very strong emphasis on topics like incident response, risk management, business continuity planning, disaster recovery, and a large chunk of the exam consists of network security. This is one piece of advice. If you want to be 100% sure that you clear this exam, please focus a little extra on the network security module because from my experience, there were a lot of questions that were more focused towards network security. So how exactly do you prepare for this exam and how many days do you need to devote? I cleared the certification in about five days of prep. Now that's because I already have a decent amount of work experience in the security space. Therefore, a lot of topics I already knew about from before. Hence, I didn't have to put in a lot of effort to actually prepare for this exam. But the courses that you can use if, let's say, you have no experience in cybersecurity before, ISC2 offers you a free study course as well, which is listed under the My Courses section of the ISC2 website. It consists of about two to four hours if you go through all the videos and resources that are under that course. But trust me, doing just this course is not going to guarantee that you're going to clear the exam. It's because I went through all the modules that were listed under this course and I can very strongly say that most of the questions that were in the exam were not discussed in this free course. Therefore, you'll have to resort to external courses as well if you want to be 100% sure that you're going to clear this exam. Now, there are a few good courses out there that can help you prepare for this exam. Statutory warning, I didn't refer to any of these courses because I didn't need to but Mike Chappelle's LinkedIn learning course is considered to be one of the really good courses if you want to clear this exam. A couple of tips. Do be very familiar with the whole incident response process, with the risk management process, with the data lifecycle management. Yes, the data lifecycle management is something that may catch you by surprise in the exam. Therefore, go through the different stages of the lifecycle management process. These topics you can just Google and you can just read whatever free resources or websites have information on this and you should be good for the exam. Once you study these necessary courses, you then come to a stage where you're confident enough to give the practice exams. Now under ISC2's free course, you have two practice exams, that is a pre-assessment and a post-assessment. The pre-assessment is done before you begin the course and the post-assessment is at the end of the course. Again, a piece of advice, on the exam, the questions were not similar to the pre and post-assessment. Now, you must be wondering, well, what exactly do you use to then be better prepared for the exam? And the answer is the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity Udemy Practice Tests. The link is going to be in the description, 
there are about six practice tests and if you do all six practice tests and let's say you're roughly scoring around 76 to 80 to 83 percent i'm pretty confident you will clear the exam the questions are not exactly what will appear in the exam of course because isc2 has a random pool of questions that they will choose from to give you on the exam day but the format of the questions are very similar to the actual exam questions and this is where this practice test holds a very big advantage over the isc2 free exams let's look at the format of this exam the certified in cyber security exam consists of 100 questions and you get 120 minutes to complete all of these questions you won't need 120 minutes to actually finish all of the 100 questions and let's say one hour is probably more than enough to get done with this exam. The marking is such that you need to score above 700 to pass the exam. Now the total weightage is about 1000 but it's not like every question is 10 marks or things like that. There are different questions that are um, different weightage and the overall result is a scaled factor over a thousand points so if you get above 700 that means you've cleared the exam speaking about my on day exam experience at the pearson vue test center it'll take you around 15 minutes to get through the basic verification where they verify two forms of identity so you can carry your passport or and driver's license with you once all of this is done your biometrics are taken they will then escort you to your seat. You're not allowed to carry a pen or paper, but they will provide you with reusable booklets and markers. So you can use that if you want to use it for the exam. One thing to note with this exam is at the end of answering every question, you don't have the opportunity to review any questions. This came as a surprise to me because whatever Pearson tests I've given in the past, like AWS exams or the Cisco exams, you do have the option where you can review questions that you've answered but with this exam strangely i didn't have that option and i verified with my friends as well that appeared for this exam they confirmed it that you won't get a chance to review it at the end when you are answering a question please be sure that that is the answer you want to go with because you won't get a chance to change it at the end once you finish answering every question and you submit the exam you will then be given a preliminary scorecard whether you've passed or failed. There are some test centers that don't give you this preliminary score, like mine didn't have this option. So I had to come back home, log into the Pearson test portal, and that is where your preliminary report card is going to be displayed. And that consists of either pass or fail. Once you've got your preliminary score now, this does not mean that you're certified in cybersecurity under ISC2. What you'll do is ISC2 will send you an email where you need to be endorsed for the certification. If you already have someone who has given this exam or is an ISC2 certified member, they can endorse you. If not, you can just say ISC2, please endorse me. There's an application form for that and in a couple of days you'll get the endorsement done and once the endorsement is done you then have to pay the fee for an isc2 member this is an annual maintenance fee that you've got to pay and once this is done that is when you get your badge and your actual certification proof that so and so person has cleared the exam and is now certified in cybersecurity. So there you go. This was my experience with the whole exam. You want to get into cybersecurity, entry level certification. This is one of the best ones out there and it's free. Do go register. If you have any doubts, comment in the comment section. Reach out to me on LinkedIn. My profile is going to be in the description. You can also check my previous videos out around any questions um, revolving around network security. If you want any guidance, again, reach out to me and I'll answer all your questions. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for future videos and yeah, thank you for watching.